Thank you for joining me again. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Sorry, I had to move something off my desk. This is Supreme Fuzzler thing, and we're going to be continuing. I was just looking at some hints real quick just to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. As I said last time, we will be doing, now that we have it, Medieval with RPG. I'm going to do the PC. Just works for me. And I'm going to do my, my 3D engine because I think it's going to be good. We're going to do Knights of Lore. I don't know, because I feel like it's good. Uh, everyone. Because this is a game for everyone. Oof. Definitely going to have this and these two things. Gameplay, engine. Engine's going to go a little down, but gameplay a little bit like theater. There we go. I'm hopeful for this one, honestly. Medieval RPGs are really, honestly, the most obvious games that most people play. Dialogue's definitely going up. Level design, a little down. And a little down. Better dialogue, definitely. Looks looking good-ish so far. Ish. I might actually click this. This fucker won't go away. Until I do. Okay. Open world. I don't think I clicked that last time. Sound down, honestly. I guess it's really not important here, but since I do have open world, world design is important. Oh, yeah, I forgot to fuck up the game 13. 434,000 units sold, though. Damn, I almost hit the 3,000 mark again. <clears throat> Definitely have a decent amount of money now. Those bugs. Ah, oh, those don't look like they're records, but. Oh, oh I hesitated. Ah, oh, I could I did need a new record. Thanks for that one extra bonus. Yeah. Marino's Knights of Lore came in. We got, we got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Fuck yeah. Five out of ten. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Another ten. Holy shit! Holy shit, man! That, generate that game report, that's a 9.5 game! It says it's new standard for the early gaming industry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus, 74 click. Today, Nintendo announced the much anticipated success for the popular TES console. This is the greatest console you've ever built. It comes in a state of the art 16 bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to go with Super TES. The Super NES. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment and seem to think it will not be disappointed. I don't recall it doing that long. I don't remember. I didn't have it that time. 100,000 units sold! Port milestone! Yep, it's time. Congratulations, you have made a quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then moving into a new office is the next step. I have found the perfect office. Situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company? Only 50 hundred? Yeah! I thought I needed a million. Fuck, man. Do it! Yeah. New office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world class development team to make even better games, really. You now also can train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. Again, start and close this message and put your character like a board train. Management. Oh yeah. The post-release analysis. Medieval and RPG is a great combination. I fucking knew it. Engine seems to be not important. That's good to know. I kinda didn't know. Level design seems to be quite important. Fuck yeah. Won't do it right away, but definitely gonna have another medieval RPG out. Knights of Lore, the newest game I've learned factory, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. And just your professional sense that the Knights of Lore is one of those rare games that will set a new quality for the standard of for the, of standard for the future of games. That's awesome. Oh shit, it's rank number one. The sling of the Slurm Factory really has made the game in history with Knights of Lore. Well done. Wow. Wow, look at that go, guys. Just look at that shit. Jesus. Boom. 
Well done, you were successfully injured in your management course and you are now able to hire your first employee. Click start or close this message and then click fill position. Button will be. Button will be, which will be visited near your big desk. I can't believe you guys did this, by the way, guys. That's fucking amazing. I like, I knew Medieval RPG was the right choice. I just knew it. Focus. <clears throat> Before you can hire someone, you have to advertise the open position, set an advertising budget, and decide how much you want to test your applicants. A high budget will increase the number of applicants, and the different tests will help find people with the right balance of design and technology. Okay, um, complex algorithms. Let's do 100k. I have a lot of money, but it's my first guy, so I don't want to be too crazy. Jesus Christ. Look at that one. Seems that Stern Vectors recently moved into an office in a well-known technology park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for games such as Knights of Lore and Spies Are Us, I guess those are my two best, has reportedly operated out of the garage till now. Shit. One of the many fans of Knights of Lore commented, I can't believe that they didn't have a proper office until now, and those games were created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. Shit, dude, I know, right? It's only number two now. The search for the open position is complete. You can now review the list of applicants and hire someone. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. Fuck yeah. He's a tech dude. He's a tech dude. And he's a tech dude. I guess that's what I asked for, is what I didn't realize. Why don't you use this guy? He looks good. Awesome. Girl, I didn't read the name. Crash is just your first hire. New employees have to settle in before they become fully effective. When the character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficiency bar as far as it goes slowly up to the time. It's usually a good idea to give your staff a new welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This is to maximize their efficiency value faster than normally. Let's do this. To do this, this time, yeah. <clears throat> Medium games, new research, fuck yeah. Train. Fire. <laughs> welcome to the team. What can I do? If you want to create hit games and have a world-class team, and training is important. Best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It is useful to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team. Alright. Let me just do that real quick. I wanted to just do one real quick. Cool. Well, he she does one. Today, the new game, Batworm Super NES and Evento, has been released. I can't believe I'm still selling Knights of Lore. No, it's done. Knights of Lore is now off the market, selling 437,000 units for a $3 million profit. Fuck, that's amazing. Um, I guess I'm gonna you do something. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. That's a good idea. I want a bigger game coming up, so... So awesome. Yes, that's the training bar. I'm not sure. Hi, Supreme Fuzzler. I have followed the progress of Slurm Factory for a while, and it seems with your recent expansion you've started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. Publisher will market and publisher games around the world. It will also help fund the development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, they usually work. Okay. Sounds bad, <clears throat> Excuse me. I can put you in time to touch with some publishers so you can look at some value available contracts. Just let me know. Fine publishing contract has been unlocked. Yes, that's what I'm actually mean. Research. Level editor, real 
quick? Yeah. I want to make a new engine at some point, but I, don't, I know I'm not going to need to for a while. Me is a buzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference, and it's surprised that awesome Pony, a company known for general electronics, has been presented a prototype console called the Play System. Apparently, Pony had collaborated with Nintendo creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles to develop it, or is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. This would this is the road, would be the world's first ski console using a CD drive. Awesome. <clears throat> Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Bonnie and Nevento jointly announced the play system as the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Oh, I do want to just. Did that really happen? <clears throat> Nevento has announced today they will cancel and the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has its distribution deal with companies has worked out it was unfavorable to Nevento, handling over much of the control to Bonnie. This seems to be the end of the play system. So you think. Alright. Let's develop a game, guys. Let's do a medium one. Let's do a pirate. Let's do adventure. What do you think, guys? This one. I'm um, gonna do everyone. Choose the legend engine again. I'm gonna do my 3D graphics. Make it an open world pirate adventure. <clears throat> Creating larger games is a significant task, and like in small games, one person can only efficiently be responsible for every aspect. To create a good game and make it be seized for your team, you'll have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. Pick team members whose skills match the area to get the best results. When you see a team responsibilities, you'll see their workload. Try not to overload them too much. Okay. 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 Shit, her tech her tech's really good. I don't Okay, so she go here. Ends of Iron Adventure. Ooh. Here, and I should do these. Uh, I don't know which one of these is the best. I'm gonna just do them all. Kind of equal. In two months, the TES will be taken off the market. I had a few games on that, but nothing really successful. Okay, next. Question mark minus. Okay, so I'm down on that. On that and down on dialogues because I don't really think dialogues will be important too much in this AI high. So me here, right now, her there, me here, me here. No choice. Definitely not gonna be as good as the fucking Knights of War, but it's gonna be a decent one, I'm hoping. It's a bigger game, so. These guys are gonna be overworked. I need a third person before I try this. This place looks good. So me here, her here, me here. Overworking my ass. <clears throat> Gotta do it, guys. We're gonna be able to this bigger game. And then we'll make some smaller ones for fucking bucksies. Gotta get that bug, so go guys. Get those bugs out. He is no longer supported. He released two games on the platform and earned a total of 290,000. 98,000. Compared to the millions I made? Whatever. PC games, man. Jesus. You done? Awesome. That's a, definitely a technology fucking marker. Jesus. Double from graphics and level of myself. Nice. <clears throat> Did I not name it? I didn't name it, did I? I have to stop doing that. It's gotta be a reason I'm getting so fucking pwned. Jesus Christ, wow. Wow. Damn it. Okay. You know what? Well, you generate the game. Yeah. I'm gonna use the blue flame engine.
another good game. Because apparently that one did not good well, which is not surprising. I stuck that fucker in there. Iron and Adventure is a great combination. The engine seems to be not very important to this type. Not from John, the PC Adventure is great. It's kind of because I didn't name it right. I didn't name this one, did I? Luckily, I get a chance at the end. So. I have to fucking name it at the end. I guess this doesn't need to be open world. Shit. Oh. Press check mark. I'm so fucking sucky, dude. I'm so sorry, guys. Everyone. Everyone loves it, but that doesn't matter. I'm pissed. I'm pissed I failed. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You can tell that an employee is in need of rest when they're efficiently st steadily decreases. To give them holiday, just click on them and send them to send on vacation. Are you... do you need that? No? Not yet? Okay. Let's, yeah, okay. Let's develop a new game and do this fucking right here. Medieval. sequels at some point. That's kind of what I was waiting for for the Knights of War. But whatever. I'm, I'm doing this. I need this. The other one did so fucking well. Quite a few undiscovered bugs will be released. It's, some of our customers are having a bad time with this, and they demand that we patch the game. You need to spend money and, and time to patch it, or in more of their fees. If you want to patch the game, click on the character and use the action in your blubber to patch. Shit, did I not do the fucking. Whatever. Dialogues are important as fuck. Okay. Just a little bit less, this down. Do 
this, and you do this, and I'll do this. Okay. This one's now on the market with 58,000 units and 400,000 in sales. Whatever, they kept me afloat. Fuck it. Nothing I can do about it now. Ugly King Fuzzler does better. Hmm. I want the open world and up that world design. Down that sound. Oh man, everyone's already overworked. But we're gonna do this, guys. And then I'm gonna send her on vacation. I'm gonna start doing some research and some shit. I'm still in lots and lots of money, so I'm not, like, working. One patch for a patch seem to be unmastered by Slurm Factory. Many fans of her voice are just more, I was developing a game! Dear Slurm Factory, I followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend their formal invitation to participate in the biggest gaming convention on the planet, also known as G3. By having your company book at G3, you can game at a lot of fans. Booth at G3, shit. And hi, you're if you're games. We think you're an audience. We'd love to see you there. We'll contact you the yearly booth options. Hoping to see you G3. Okay. Oh, we're good? We're done? Shit. Awesome. Yay, things are leveling up. That's good, that's good. Let's release it. Multiplayer, character progression, branching store, better AI, 3D graphics version 2. That's what I wanted. Send you on vacation. First reviews came in. What we got? Shit. Looked like crap. That's fucked up. Yeah. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna try to do something new. That's fine. I already wanted to. Horror. Let's research that. Horror adventure? Horror simulation. That probably would do good. Good. Generate the game report. Get back. Good. Let's give it this version 2. somewhere. We're gonna make better graphics. We're gonna make better. We got King Puzzler. Game latencies are quite important to this type of game. Topic audience match. Medi medieval, everyone. Great. Alright. Let's do it some training. Oh, actually, I want to focus on research. Sorry. Oh, shit. I'm low on. Well, do that. Then you oops, train. Uh, wait, let's do that. Um, I guess I'll do a small loop. Might as well. topic. Uh, cyberpunk. I'm going to do a new game just to get a fucking a research points. So I'm going to create a new engine until I have like, most of that shit done. people visit our booth, didn't begin the top 100, once again we get more fans, we will, okay. Um, shit, okay, how, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's do some contract work real quick. Okay. I can get this one. Audience announced their own console called the Play System. 
Apparently, the company has a completely networked okay, reworked their earlier play system prototype after an Nemento canceled the project. The new play system has a CD ROM drive and a 32 bit processor that is owned by Bond. And his professional son says that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Nemento declined to comment. The PlayStation will into the market in two months. Okay. Search it. Shit. Better hand my friend sequels. Okay. Shit. Okay. I need to do a new game then. Small. Young. I'm gonna do cyberpunk. Action. Gaming. Action. Everyone young. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. Just try one of these. I mean, I have no reason not to, but at the same time. I'm gonna stick with that one. Young, action, cyberpunk, gaming. And yeah, I'm gonna stick with the doing these types of games with this. Inch it up. Story quest down. Um, yeah. Thank you for the type of one. There's actually some pipe behind this one. Placed. Play system by Bonnie has been released. Good, good, good. I also want to do one on that. Oh, apparently AI. Oh, dialogues. Yeah, yeah. Hopeful for this one too. Oh shit, I didn't fucking name it again. Okay, I can name it at the end. Name it at the end. I'm gone. Set her back in action. Um bugs out. Laser pointer. That was my plan. Fucking god fucking damn it. Number game 18, and it's probably gonna be shit because I didn't name it right. Damn it, it's a piece of shit game. Ugh. You generate the game report because I need to know. You. Research sequels. Cyberbuck in action is a great point of story. Quest is very important. Cyberbuck in young was a bad choice. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. Probably. I'm only gonna fail that because that guy's busy. I just fucking realized I'm not. God fucking damn. Let me go. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Failed. Damn. Okay. Okay. Develop a sequel. This game. Knights of Lore sequel. Medieval RPG. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. PlayStation? No. This is gonna be the PC because this is the sequel. Legend. I should make it a medium game. Yeah, yeah, because it is a sequel. Awesome. Awesome. This 
me hard. Shit. Down. Good, good. You here. You here. Oh wait, no. You here and you here. Good. Let's do this, guys. Come on. Knights of Damnation. Sequel to Knights of War. Man, I should have like Knights of War 2 with a damn or something. <laughs> Better dialogues now. Yeah, yeah. Up there. AI down. Me there. And there. You here. Game 18 is now off the market. 33 uh, units sold. I need another fucking hit. Life's not good on this one either. Good. World. Yeah. Good message. This is a very special one. We're going to recent amount to borrow some research. Sure, this time. Thank you for your business. You've successfully researched cooking. Huh, cool. Perfect. Why are you be very efficient? Effective to, fair to reach more potential customers, but it can be very expensive. Best experiment carefully when mocking to feel for what works best. Don't invest best to imagine. And remember the timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early and development or too late. Shit. It is the most important to know that how much money you pump into the market will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, you can never hurt in the market bad games too, too much as you can accept your existing fans. Hmm. You something weird. Okay, I'm gonna do magazine and then Just do the second level, and hopefully the hype will not be fucked. So many bugs. Come on, guys. Not finishing. Good? Done? Due to increased experience, the following staff have earned a raise. That's good for you. Stare at your sound. Alright. Research. I don't have enough research points, but I'm gonna do the damn night cycle research. And you. Yeah, I'll have to wait for that. What do we got? Two, five. Damn. Sunfire has recently released a sequel to their game, Knights of Lore, the newest game in the series titled Knights of Lore 2 The Damned, was met with moderate responses. Alright. In two months, the Venom gear will be taken off the market. Story questing is very important for this type of game. Okay. Um, I need these things, so I need to really contract more. Do these contracts and get more research points. Uh, sure. I'll do a. I don't have enough money, so I'll just do a small trip again. Might as well. Although it's good to generate hype if I understand this correctly. Contracting work and do this one. There's no more research points. Good, 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 good. Go, go, go. Let's do it again. We're gonna beat our 40,000 mark. Okay, um, 
develop another new game. Let's do Young. Uh, actually, let's do Mature. I know what I want to do. I want to do Horror. I want Simulation. I want to choose the Legend Engine. I want to choose a PC. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to name it... Fuck, I'm not really good with normal how horror names. <laughs> oh man. Shit, dog. I don't even know. Suck in a house. Damn. No. Stuck on a bridge. <sighs> Fuck, I'm not really good with it. Major thing. There we go. Sure, small, 3D graphics, yeah. Mina Gear is no longer supported. Yeah, okay, so engine, sorry guys. For simulation, story and quests are gonna go down. Your gameplay, definitely. Oh, I'm gonna do those just because I can. I have enough money. I guess I did that one and I did it. Ooh, I want to generate nitrates, so yeah, I'm gonna do it now. I'm do magazines, just just fucking magazines. Dialogues. Um, horror simulation, level design, AI, definitely I think. And dialogue is a little horror. This is early horrors. That level two did pretty good. Design's probably really important, and sound is important for horror. That's a hard one. Media Inquiry. I am Steve O'Connor, reporter from Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. We will give an interview. Yeah! We will publish the interview next week. Okay. And GG has released a recently published interview with Slurm Factory. Born in the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Screen Fuzzler, owner and CEO of Slurm Factory, said, We think the players are looking for mature, more mature content in games, and we're willing to take a risk to give it to them. Indeed. Many industry experts that sooner or later, games with mature themes become more common. We're curious to see how the market will react to these games. Indeed. Not yet. Let's check this out real quick. Knights of Lore 2 is going to get off the market. Sold 71,000 units, 700,000 sales. That's pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. No more. Oh, it's a pile, you douche. Excuse me. Apologies for the wording. Come on, vacation. Oh, man, it's really tight. Alright. At least this game. Let's get the information for this game, and I'll be ending this video. Research points though, which is really what I really, really want to do. Let's do this. Oh, Warren Simulation is a terrible combination. Mature and Simulation are great on the PC though. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. We should do some additional insight. We should try to focus our entire team on the development of the game. I did. Position. We need to increase higher trigger and go bankrupt. It's best to take it slow. Okay. Two game demo. Yeah, it's 70,000 budget. Hmm. We need more design, but. Male and female style. Okay. I didn't really. <laughs> awesome. Good for me. Okay. 
new train this here. You do a stack walking train. Me research fucking ranching story. Uh, character progression actually. That sounds way cooler. Honestly, guys, I have to end this video here. All of you going to be in the middle of stuff, but I'll probably still be there. I'm not sure how safe it's worth in this. Yeah, cool. Sweet. That's how safe work. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you for joining me in the Supreme Puzzle on this adventure. This fun game's amazing. I actually stayed up, like, way later than I should playing this because it was so fun. This video is 10 minutes over it should have been, but it was a blast. And I had so much frustrations after getting that first amazing score, and then all those other games I was releasing just could not hit, and I still haven't really hit another amazing hit. That was Knight's Floor. Also, I keep fucking up the fucking knees, fuck. Super frustrating. But I love this game. It's why it's frustrating. I love it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for joining me again. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. I had a lot of fun. Ah, uh, bro. Have a good day.